Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator. And I'm Trenton Bennett, and I'm also an audiobook narrator. I'm a teacher of uh, narration in audiobooks, and we both like helping people in the industry out, whether they're writers, students, or uh, narrators themselves. This session, we are going to discuss beyond prepping for the book as a whole, how do you prep for a scene or a chapter in the book? Trenton, insights. Well, I tend to record one chapter at a time and look ahead. At this point, I've already read the whole book and I understand the characters, their motivations. This is after the earlier video we talked about where you look for speed bumps. I've done a full real read. So I look at the chapter and say, okay, who's going to be in it? Have my voice files handy for them. Drill a little bit on, does this guy sound a little like this? And that guy sounds a little more like that. And get ready to do those voices. But then... I think about who are they in that scene, and I forget the fact that as the narrator, I already know what's going to happen and how it's going to end, and try to focus on, when I do the characters, reacting to the events as they're happening as that character would behave. You know, what I do that's uh, that feels similar to that is um, I have uh, a system that I do where I um, will take the letter T and that stands for turn where things take a turn and I will bold face it and it'll be pink so it stands out and if if I so I'll, I'll copy the T and then when I see a turn coming up I'll paste the T when things seem to turn in uh, theater they call this beats right? Mm -hmm. where, where a character takes one tactic rather than the previous one that they were using. So I call these turns. Now, to simplify it, there's either TG, which stands for turn good, or TB, which stands for turn bad. Well, um, Now, what I do after that is when I have a TB, up until the next TG, I actually color the whole text dark blue. And that reminds me, oh, we're in the blue period now. We're, we're in the zone where things are really going bad. There's high conflict and we're very pessimistic. Mm -hmm. Then when it turns back into good, that's when I know, oh, okay, this is where things are picking up. What I find is that saves me a lot of brain juice in terms of, okay, I can now just dip in and enjoy the story because it's almost like a, the, 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 the underscore of music is happening. And in the process of TGing and TBing, I'm becoming even more intimate with the text. So that's, that's what I do when preparing a scene. Um, and why don't, we, why don't we just keep that there and let, let, the, uh, let the viewers digest that. Um, there's a couple of other things that I uh, do when preparing for a scene, and I'll even share my vocal warm up, but perhaps in a later video. I know. Can you stand the suspense? <laughs> perhaps so. I don't know if I can wait, though. These are pretty exciting to do, and I hope they help people. Yeah, me too. And so, with that, as your narrators, teachers of narration, and helpers, I hope that our voices in your ears meet again real soon. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.